Well, a year ago, I was here, tough campaign for the California State Senate against a Republican who I never got to meet, but got to defeat. Um, yeah, that was good. <laughs> And now I'm in an incredible campaign, incredible race to replace our friend Ellen Tauscher, who I know we're all proud of having gone on yeah. to be Under Secretary of State for the Obama administration. And one of the things that's uh, really great about this campaign is, as Democrats, we have five great candidates. It's been a pleasure. You know, when you run for office, sometimes it gets a tad bit competitive, and sometimes that goes across some lines. And this campaign has been about five Democrats, five people who basically share the same beliefs and philosophy, uh, competing and trying to distinguish themselves with grace and dignity, and I think that's what the Democratic Party should be about. Yeah. How much things have changed in a year. I mean, it wasn't but just a year ago that George W. Bush was still president of the United States. Finishing out that's right. But the good news was he was finishing out the worst presidency in the history of the history of this country to be replaced by one of the greatest presidents, I believe, who go down in his the history of this country, Barack Obama. So now the pressure is on us as Democrats to do, as I often repeat, to do what President Obama has called us to do. When he said in his inaugural speech, we are the change we have been waiting for, that was a call for us to govern, to show this country that Democrats can govern this country in a way that's consistent with American values and it's our tradition, about caring about one another, about our national motto, e pluribus unum, out of many, one voice. So as we go about our work every day as, as candidates, or as advocates, or as party stalwarts, we should remember that we have an amazing responsibility in this point of history, is to answer President Obama's call, whether it's health care, to make sure that what the Republicans are trying to do right now, to scare people out of a intelligent reform process. Is George Miller falling behind me? <laughs> I usually follow George. He's following line. Um, to get meaningful health care, we really have to be with one voice and advocate for this amazing opportunity to reform that George has provided leadership on. Uh, to change energy policy in this country. For me or for any of the candidates to go back to D.C. and realize in December of this year, we will join with George Miller and the leadership of the Democratic Congress on voting on meaningful health care reform. That we will also vote yeah. on meaningful energy reform. Yeah. And that we will change this country back to a country we can be proud of. Yeah. So thank you, all of you. I'm not going to do my bio because all of you, most of you have heard it more times than you care to. I just want to thank you for your hard work and your friendship. Um, I would like your support. I would be honored by your support. But mostly, I want to thank you for your hard work on, the, in, on behalf of the hey, democratic policies yeah. and traditions of the United States.